Hello, sir. Oh, good morning. <laughs> Hi, good I'm morning. Jason. Hi, I'm Andrew. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous here, and I mean... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Tokai region, okay. which is 80 kilometers long. Uh, the World Heritage Site has 27 villages, okay. and, and Mad village is one of them. Mad, so we're yes. in Mad right yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. Can you tell us a little bit about, I mean, and the buildings I'm seeing? And um, This has been a, a winery for 500 years, wow. and it belonged to the Polish origin uh, Pulski family. Okay. He was a very famous uh, writer in Hungarian history, and he was the the founder of the of the Hungarian National Museum, oh. uh, making it world famous. So some of the buildings we're seeing are from the original architecture, or um, redesigned. We or? completely 100% uh, reconstructed oh. all the all the buildings and giving it the the winery style in the, the modern oh, world. Oh wow! We try to get as close. To the, to the to the world heritage of the, yes, the heritage. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. The winery owner Endra is one of Mod's high-profile young winemakers. He holds a law degree and a PhD in journalism, but later changed professions after becoming interested in learning the craft of winemaking. Starting in 2003, Endra and his father began growing grapes organically and making wine here. After buying the property, they restored the previously war-damaged site and turned it into a functional winery and bed and breakfast. What's this? Well, that's a well okay. for watering, which is part of the built culture origin of the country. Okay. Because it's a very old well. Yeah. Actually, and everything is very old. Here. <laughs> I mean, just look at the tree here. This is amazing. Yeah, it's what? a 300 years old uh, Queen's tree. It's special. We try to keep okay. it alive. So, Andrew, can you tell us about the, the history of this particular building? Uh, so, this building uh, has been a winery okay. since uh, 500 years. Oh. So, Underground, yeah. we have a huge amount of cellars. Cellars, yes. okay. Let me first show you the, okay. the original well, house. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Welcome to the 500-year-old house. Oh. <laughs> This is the foundation of the of the building. Like the beams, the architecture. Where are these, so everything are these is hundred percent uh, original renovation. Oh my god! And it has natural air condition because oh. it's been built of of the the local stones. Oh. And the walls are very thick, thick. because okay. because uh, they have to keep uh, the, the floors. Oh. And underneath there is the cellar, yeah. uh, so that's why the, the, the walls are so thick, oh. and it helps us with, with, the, with the climate. Oh. In the winter they give heat, and in the summer, summer. they, they oh. keep us cold. The building's reconstructed exterior actually covers the 500-year-old framework of the original interior. Endra used it only to entertain friends at the start, but friends loved it so much that they convinced him to rent it out as a converted bed and breakfast. Next, Hendra takes me to see the winery complex, and, recognized as a place of cultural importance in the Tokai region, its wine cellar. Oh, wow. Follow okay. me. Thank you. What do you think? Wow. Whoa. It's quite chilly down here, but quite amazing. Yeah, it's um, natural air condition. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why we keep the wines over here. So because this is the wine storage? Uh, this is one of the wine storages, oh, okay. because we have 300 meters of cellars, okay. um, and that's the best and most proper place oh. of keeping the wines okay. in the best conditions. Okay. So all the different varieties you produce are stored here? Yes, we have nine kinds of wines okay. because we are fully organic, registered oh. organic yeah. uh, in the wine yards. Uh, and I press the wines yeah. with my two hands. With my hand, yeah. Yes, with 100 years of presses. So you presses. touch every single bar. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, definitely, oh, wow. yes. And uh, in our idea, because we are world heritage, yeah. that's why we are organic. And uh, in the cellar, the wines should be stored like properly. Uh, but there's even more underground. More? I will show you. More? Okay. Yes. I know. Send me the I'm happy. Come with me. Down here? Yep. Oh my gosh. Okay. Come on. These are old vintages. So it's all alive. Yeah. Alive. yeah everything is alive. alive. Yeah. There's a life oh, beneath. Yeah underground ah, yeah. and actually I do have bats uh, oh, really? yeah I mean around 30 of them and the bats are hiding they are my pets but there's
there's even more underground. More? I will show you. More? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> Down here? Yep. Oh my gosh. Okay. Come on. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So in the old days, yeah. uh, during the centuries, after harvest, after the, the big work, okay. uh, during the winter time when they had time, they were carving these cellars. Oh, so they're not, not wasting any... No, yes, no their, wasted oh, time. Oh, wow. And this volcanic uh, geology yeah. is able to, to keep itself. So, okay, yes, because I'm wondering, you know, if there's moisture, does it break down? Or no, it, it's finish? fine. It's fine yeah. since uh, centuries. Oh my yes. gosh. And so there's more down there? Yes, we can go even okay. deeper. <laughs> and the temperature because, is just getting... Yes, the temperature is getting lower yeah. because of the, the, the layers and the levels. Okay. During uh, the depth, okay. uh, the temperature is changing. Yes. Oh my gosh. In the back in the day, how people just started on the surface and kept digging down and kept digging down? Uh, so yes, because, because there are more uh, cellars beneath this village than oh. streets on the top. Oh, wow. So it's not only me who have okay. uh, 300 yeah, meters okay. of, yeah. of, of cellars. Uh, and usually there are uh, three layers of okay. cellars beneath each other. Oh. And the deepest cellars are yeah. so cold okay. that I, I, can't know it's really, like, uh, I can't really use yeah. it for, for wine making purposes. So you can feel that it's already cold in here. Without seeing it in person, I would have no idea that the underground wine cellar is so spectacular with a network of tunnels and stairs running in all directions. And among it all, bottles of Tokai quietly sleeping for generations. During World War II and the Soviet occupation of Hungary, many of Tokai's wineries fell under control of the state. Only starting in 1990, with the dissolution of communist rule, did Tokai wine, just like the Mangalitsa pigs from our earlier episode, slowly begin to rebuild its former glory. So this is the original Tokai bottle uh, shape. Yes. Uh, that's what we are using since and the Rakoti time. May I? Sure. Wow. And you can tell it's nice and chill already. <laughs> These are old vintages. So it's all alive. Yeah. alive. yeah, everything is alive. alive yeah. There's a life oh, beneath yeah underground. Ah, yeah. So, yes, there's no light, but okay. but but very special species live. Uh, and actually, I do have bats. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, I mean, around 30 of them. Wow, and the bats are hiding, they are my pets. Oh, pets But they are scared of you. But they are? Where? Hello! They are in the other side of the, of the cellar. Yes, yes, yes. With an eye towards conservation of this region's important landscape and cultural heritage, Endra cultivates the vineyards organically, still uses traditional winemaking methods, and still processes the grapes manually with old-fashioned presses. This place is a world heritage site alive with the breath of the winemaker and grapes co-mingling among the rugged volcanic terrain. Together, they partner to create one of the world's most distinctive wines, whose spectacular flavors belong uniquely to Tokai.